Hey guys, this is Veron from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So, it was raining right a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. Wow. It was raining a while ago when I first started recording. This is like maybe the fifth time I started this recording, mainly because I don't know if I screwed up my audio setup or not. And I've been playing around and messing it around with Audacity. I don't know what MME or Windows Direct sounds are. I guess those are drivers. <laughs> so, if I'm not as energetic as I usually am, can you just let it slide? Because I've I've like gone through this video several times and I already had a good um I already was content with one of my recordings, but when I listened back there was like a metallic grating sound in the background, so I had to I have to record it. Whee. So enough of me rambling about me being a total noob and not knowing anything about audio equipment and stuff like that. Let's actually jump into what we're doing in the video. So, we are actually painting on a sketchbook. So, I'm doing a cover for the Limelight sketchbook, which is one of the new. Well, no, it's the new sketchbook I'll be using for from here on, since I did use up my old sketchbook. So, I actually did mention it in my Compass sketchbook tour that I'll be using the Limelight sketchbook. It has a very soft matte surface. It's I guess it's foam leather. I'm not really sure. Um, it's a type of cover where the the any kind of water will just like rub uh, drip right off, or you can rub stuff all of it. It's really nice, but I've gotten into the hobby of making my own sketchbook covers, and I started this I think around two years ago. So I made my own sketchbook around two years ago. I used loose leaf Canson watercolor paper that I had from college. I cut it up into a certain size. I got um, a craft, a pink craft paper. I drew on it, put it on the cover, put the la laminate on it, and I had my own custom sketchbook. And I really enjoyed making that. And then the next year, I bought this craft sketchbook or craft notebook. It had cream paper inside. It had a craft brown cover, uh, and I had the idea of drawing something on it for my own cover. And I used ink and I did like a compass, uh, astrological looking type of cover on it. And I thought to myself back then, as much as possible in the next sketch sketchbook that I own or buy or use, I want to make my own cover for it. And that ended up being the Limelight sketchbook. So I bought this actually pretty close to the... I bought it almost right after the, um, the compass craft notebook or sketchbook. Because it was, it was so thin, I expected that I'd be able to use it up right away. That was a lie. It took me a year to clear that up. Gosh. So I don't know how long this one will last me. Probably two years, three years. Let's see what will happen. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. And so I, I decided to make my own cover for it. So the first and I guess the only challenge that I had to deal with was I didn't know what kind of media or medium would work. On the cover so it's very soft and matte so I know that anything water or very um, liquid wouldn't work so inks dyes watercolor uh, markers alcohol markers pastels those wouldn't work mainly because they'd either rub off or just slide off the cover so I knew right away my only two choices were acrylic paints or oil paints both of which I have because I took like a painting class in college which it exposed you to different mediums and how to use those mediums. So I did have some student entry-level paints with me. So I first wanted to try out acrylics mainly because I knew that oils take such a long time to work with. They dry slow. Um, they're great. They're honestly really good. I actually enjoyed working with oils at one point, but I'm not confident in them. I felt a bit more secure with fast drying acrylics. like watercolor. I mean, watercolor is my main medium, so... I guess acrylics, acrylics are a good option. Anyway, so I tested it out in the back of the cover. I filled in like the logo thing at the back. It's it's embedded in there, and I tried to rub it off with sweat, with oil, with uh. I tried to scratch it off with my nails. I tried to use tape to lift it, and it stuck on pretty well there. So I knew that acrylics would keep there. So now I had to get painting. 
So the first idea or the first concept that they had for it was to make it make an ocean wavy type of feel, like make it all serene and nice and all of that. But the moment I put down the the white paint on the cover, which you saw earlier, I ended up making jagged looking stuff. And I could fix it technically. I could just technically go in and make it more curved and soft. But I said, decided to go Bob Ross and be like, oh, it's a happy little accident. It's not meant to be ocean waves today. And I ended up painting mountains in a mountain range. And I just went with it. <laughs> okay, so the paints we're actually using today are Pebeo acrylic paints. Um, they're entry level, super cheap. Paints. They're meant to just get you started with acrylics, just to like to ease you into how to do how they work. And they're very very thick. They dry fast, um, and yeah, it's, it's what I have. I don't have any other choice to be honest. But I noticed that I used up all of my blues and my greens because I'm biased towards that color scheme. So I tried to find a way to get the colors that they wanted. Thankfully, my mom actually bought some more higher quality paints because she wanted to try painting so she had some amps like she had these three tubes of paint being pink red and blue uh so they're the amsterdam acrylic colors or standard acrylics i think uh, this is in brilliant blue and it's by royal talents which is from what i know a pretty well known quality maker of uh, art materials i think i'm not super well versed with more high-end stuff uh, especially since I only used to stick to watercolors, so they're from they're a familiar name. I'm pretty sure you guys would have heard of them if you could watch other art YouTubers, especially like guys like Lindsay the Frugal Crafter or something like that, or maybe Art on the Card. They might have mentioned it at some point. Anyway, <laughs> so we're using that, and this is, this is, that's all I have. I still want to add in some green there, so I mix some blue and some of the yellow to make like a greenish tint so that it had a bit more depth. So the blue was pretty and all, it was very solid, it's very nice, but I felt like the green gave it a little bit more life. It gave it a little bit more interest and it's not just blue and white and blue and dark blue and all of that. So yeah, so right now we're sealing in the entire painting with Elmer's glue. So if you're not familiar with that, uh, it's just basic school glue it's it's a just basic clear glue i watered it down a little bit in water to spread it easier and that's what i'm gonna use to seal the cover and instead of using like those high-end you know paint sealant things i don't i can't afford that rather i don't want to buy it just for this i end up using elmer's glue it worked out pretty well it sealed it in pretty well and we're at the end of the video it's such a fast video woo but it's rare nowadays anyway if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking or subscribing. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.